Okay, so we all know that the Infinix brand has been one of the top selling smartphone manufacturers in the past year because of their products' value for money. And in this review, guys, we will be taking a closer look. Yes, closer look, lapit kayo, on their brand new addition sa kanilang Note series lineup, the Infinix Note 30 5G. Hey guys, it's your tag girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. If I'm guessing it right, I think this is our very first Infinix smartphone review of the year. Okay, so yung sleeve pa lang ng box ng Infinix Note 30, it really is showing that it is a gaming phone. As you can see, we have here Mia. And yup, this is a collaboration with MPL. Pero if aalisin natin yung sleeve, guys, ayan, napakaganda ng kulay, no? Kasi very different from their pa... Po, po. <laughs> very different from their past Infinix Note smartphones. Since it has a better chipset, a bigger RAM, and a fast charging capability. As you can see, their speakers is sound by JBL, which is new for Infinix. And of course, Yung pinagmama na kanilang 45 watts fast charging capability, which we will all be testing later on. Alright, so before we do a quick unboxing, magkano ba itong bagong budget phone ng Infinix? The Infinix Note 30 5G, guys, comes in two variants. The 128GB retails for 9,499 pesos. But for its early bird price via e-commerce sites, it will only be 9,399 pesos. And of course, for the 256GB variant naman, this will be priced at 9,999 pesos. But for its early bird price, it will only be 9,899 pesos na lang. So yes, guys, Paano may matitipid kayo ng konte if sa launching date niya siya bibilhin? That is if of course you will find it worth it on this video. Alright, so the reason why we are wearing blue right now is because the unit that I will be reviewing guys is yung Interstellar Blue. Actually, gusto ko lang makita yung gold na to. I've been seeing it all over social media. Siyempre, yung mga teasers. Pero okay lang kasi talaga namang, tingnan nyo, medyo may kahawig siya na premium smartphone then that I will be sharing with you later. We got here yung panundot natin, the paperwork. In fairness, look at the free jelly case. Ayan. It is still in collaboration with MPL. It's not the typical jelly case. In fairness, I like it even though I'm not the type of person who really likes to game. And aside from it, it also comes with this screen protector. And of course, the 45 watts charging brick and the USB-C to USB-A charging cable. Okay, so even though the Infinix Note 30 5G is really marketed towards gaming as you can see the overall look of the phone doesn't give a gaming vibe and not everyone naman din na bumibili ng isang smartphone ay gaming lang ang habol it's pretty much all plastic pero as you can see it doesn't really look like one unless of course sahawakan na natin siya it's all matte finish except of course sa kanyang camera module actually very interesting itong interstellar blue because every time you will be tilting it it will give you different shades of blue. Medyo malaki yung pinagbago ng look ng Infinix Note 35G compared doon sa kanyang predecessor. And the sides of this phone is slightly a different hue of blue and hindi rin po siya matte. The color that I mentioned kanina guys which is the gold one, actually a specific color noon is Sunset Gold which is here. It's also a very nice color of the Infinix Note 35G and very refreshing. It doesn't actually looks like an Infinix phone because we all know that Infinix doesn't really give that colorful vibe before. Anyway, matching the sides, color blue then. Yung kanyang volume rockers and power button located on the right side. The power button doesn't protrude that much since it is also a fingerprint sensor. And speaking of surprisingly guys, the fingerprint sensor is snappy and gets you to your home screen quickly. Overall, it's a smartphone that looks really nice for its price. Yun nga lang, it's not for the people na may maliit na kamay. May kalakihan yung device na to knowing Infinix as well. But yeah, I can see the appeal 
And for those who want a simple looking device that will give you that look for an affordable price, this will serve that purpose. And obviously, this new device from Infinix is giving a competitive gaming chipset. This phone has the Dimensity 6085G processor, and in fairness, it takes care of graphically light games easily. We are also getting physical 8GB of RAM that can be extended up to 16GB, and a storage up to 256 gig. So yeah, we can easily install a couple of big title and run some applications in the background with very little to worry about lagging. Meron din itong micro SD slot that can carry up to 2 terabyte. Na pwedeng pwede natin gamitin for our media files like photos, videos, so that we get to maximize more yung ating internal storage for some applications and games. Meron din itong 120 hertz refresh rate, so most games can run smoothly dito without much heat. And yes guys, we definitely hit a couple of rounds sa Mobile Legends with maximum detail and it run without a hitch. Yung frame rate nya guys were pretty consistent as well, looming between 60 FPS in quiet moments and 56 FPS naman during intense Fights. Meron din game mode itong Infinix Note 30 which is easily a software or gaming centric feature to improve the overall gaming experience. And then if you intend on playing games naman katulad ng Genshin Impact, we tested it. Yes, totoong Genshin Impact po ito. <laughs> All we can say is it can stay on 30 FPS if you don't want to burn your hands dahil medyo nag-overheat siya ng konti pag mas mataas. So yes, it is playable pero again, manage your expectations na lang. Aside from it, this phone also has a 5,000 mAh of battery capacity and again, sinabi ko kanina that this can be charged using its 45 watts charging capability. This phone can navigate through 2 days of use and expected na, to be honest, since the chipset and the display is pretty efficient naman. Now, if you're heavy on gaming, katulad ng ginawa ko the past few days, you will still be able to use it for the full day and may matitira pa kayong almost 30% sa gabi. And the full charge takes over 45 minutes naman to complete. And of course, like most smartphones with varying price tags, this one supports a tall 6.78 inches of full HD plus display na merong 120Hz dynamic refresh rate. As you can see before I explain my experience, meron na siyang wallpaper. I think it is more of a skin actually na very Mobile Legends din ang atake. But pwedeng pwede naman din itong palitan if hindi nga kayo gamer sa settings niya. The panel doesn't give the best blacks as expected from a phone na merong LCD panel. But I really appreciate having 120Hz dynamic refresh rate for a budget phone. Honestly, I really can't complain much here as the value this phone brings easily justifies what it lacks. And that is the dual speaker sound by JBL. In fairness, for a budget phone, for me, it is above average. Most smartphones these days na nasa ganitong price point really doesn't perform well in terms of audio. It offers higher resolution and DTS compatibility. So yes, it does better than most entry-level competitors. Medyo kulang lang ng konti sa punch, of course. But regardless, it's still the better problem to have since most brands in this price range offer pretty weak audio setups. Overall, guys, the large display is really great for consuming content. Most of the time, guys, hindi lang naman gaming ang habol ng tao, katulad ko. So watching TikTok, YouTube, and Netflix, is very much enjoyable. Alright, so as you can see, medyo malaki and emphasize yung cameras niya sa likod. But if you will look closely, medyo malaki lang talaga yung pinaka-housing niya. And it says here that it has 108 megapixels. Meron din itong dalawang supporting sensor. Isang 2 megapixels depth sensor na nakakatulong for portrait blurs. And of course, isang QVGA AI camera lens na nakakatulong naman in auto HDR and auxiliary photo and video features. At this price point, ang hirap maghanap ng ultra-wide camera, ano? Parang kung titignan mo, 
ang saya na na magkaroon ng isang very capable main camera. And in fairness naman, it takes decent wide angle shots. Malinis yung most photos natin. Yun nga lang, hindi talaga may iwasan na it can be bright at times. It's a hit or miss but with the right lighting, it produces good photos naman. It's a typical outcome since most of the work is being done by AI. And of course, yung zoom naman niya is all digital. Pero may shortcut tayo na two times sa kanyang pinaka camera interface. Actually, I'm glad kasi very usable kahit papano yung two times zoom niya. Hindi rin masyadong aggressive yung sharpening niya kahit na medyo may kataasan yung kanyang megapixels. And then for the front camera naman, it has a... 16 megapixels. Actually, impressed ako kahit papano sa mga selfie shots natin. Neutral pa rin yung skin tone natin. Color accurate siya most of the time. Honestly, all in all, it's a good selfie cam. By the way, wala rin magiging problema because out of the box, Android 3T na rin yung Infinix Note 3T 5G. Though walang promise when it comes to software updates si Infinix. And medyo sanay na rin ako sa mga budget Android phones kasi hindi talaga sinasabi to minsan. But yes, hindi kayo maninibago lalo na if galing kayong Infinix phone din. Medyo wala masyadong changes at nandun pa rin yung bloatware. Honestly guys, itong Infinix Note 30 is obviously tailored to be a gaming device on a budget. It's really meant to provide the users with slightly more than the basics while retaining a very reasonable asking price. Actually, nakakatawa kasi hindi na nga lang din basics yung kayang i-provide ng smartphones priced at this point these days. All in all, we are getting decent set of hardware with a decent set of cameras as well and a decent overall media experience. Kahit na medyo competitive yung budget segment natin dito sa Philippines, we cannot deny the fact now na Infinix is really doing well when it comes to this segment. So yeah, Actually, that's basically it. I'm glad na hindi tayo din sa point ulit ni Infinix. It's your tech girl, Mary, and see you on our next video. Bye, guys!